How's it going? So recently my clock has not been doing okay. So I did a bit of research on nice looking clocks. I really like the look of these Nixie tube clocks. So I went to buy one and then saw the price. So the other day I accidentally purchased too many of these tiny LEDs and secretly this video is a way to use them all. So first of all, I got a lot of these brass wires and first made it straight using a drill. I originally started bending this by hand, but it didn't really go too great. So I 3D printed this jig. Um, and then I started bending it into different shapes. I would say it went okay. Once that was done, I soldered all the small LEDs onto the wires. This was a lot of work. I needed a good way to control each of the segments. So I went online and did what everyone does, copy and paste. Once that was done, I sent a message to PCBWay to get the boards made. They did not disappoint at all. I would say not too shabby for my first ever PCB design. I then tried soldering all the small pieces onto the board and found it very difficult. But then when I was going for a walk, I found this magical paste that automatically solders parts when you say the magic word. It seems it was just a bit camera shy, so I had to give it a couple of seconds. I could not resist doing these close-up shots. Look at how amazing it looks. So then I assembled it together and made this. I then went to my local bush and looked for the nicest growing wood, which I then gently removed to use for the base of the clock. Once that was done, I went to one of my friend's house and used this special machine to make the base. I then assembled everything and made this. I ran out of wires, so I had to use those brass rods. So I guess this is what it looks like after everything's assembled. It's not too bad, needs a bit of work. With all that out of the way, I had to make it function like a clock with some fancy code. So I did what all coders do. I went online and copied the code from a stranger on the internet. I then made few changes so that I can claim it as mine. Now to give it that Nixie tube look, I got some of these glass tubes and put them on top of the housing. And there you have it. I still need to figure out how to do the coding. I'm not very good at it. Hope you all lovely people enjoyed the video. This is what the final clock looks like. If you're wondering why it's not working, well, it's because I did something silly and it's not working anymore. That only means one thing.